I'm not saying, yeah, you know, there's our brothers, man. Our brothers and sisters look look like the other nations, man. You know what I'm saying? So just gotta try that spirit, man. You can't be you can't be so quick to uh, judge and say, oh, he's a he's an Edomite or or some other nation. You know what I'm saying? Right, go ahead. Matthew chapter 11, verse 6. It says, Blessed is he who, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Yeah, blessed is he that is, not, that is not offended in me, man. Why? Because if that's an Israelite and you're sitting up here offending him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're doing the work. But you're sitting up here telling him that, oh, you're an Edomite and whatnot. But he's just, he might sincerely want to ask you a question. You got to deal, deal in order, man. I told you that in uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40, man. Everything be done decently and in order, man. Yeah. yeah, and that's a good test, though, that we implement. Where if he could stay and handle all of this judgment on Edom, uh, we are the best people on the planet. They're under us. They're scum rats. They're going into captivity. Right. And he might be a check. Yeah, he might be. Now, also to that one verse that we that the brother read earlier, try the spirit by the spirit. Believe not every spirit. That's all. You know, that's just being discerned. You can't just sit up here and say, oh, if he's agreeing with you, he's an automatically Israelite. You know what I'm saying? You just got to keep trying that spirit, man. You know what I'm saying, too? You just got to have that spiritual eye and be very discernful who you're dealing with and how you're dealing with the individual. He, he, hell, you could be uh, dealing with us here. You might think he's Judah. <laughs> Damn, you know? Right, right. He's he probably up here, be, up here to spy out our liberty. Through his through his appearance, man. Right, right. That's how deep this this thing this wrapped the whole goal, man. You know what I'm saying? And how deep deeply spiritual this thing is, man. You know? Uh, get Luke seventeen and one. That doesn't make sense. You should be able to go. Right, because he won't write the thing on you. Because this go go back to the offenses, man. Because if that guy if that guy's sincerely trying to uh, inquire of the Lord, inquire of this knowledge, man. Who the, who the hell is us to um, deny him because of his appearance? He's fighting somebody. Luke chapter 17, verse 1. Then said he unto the disciples, It is possible, but that offenses will come. Yeah, offenses will come. You know what I'm saying? You know, obviously God's going to get, have their, get their, um, you know, get offended by certain things here and there. You know what I'm saying? By what a brother might say. What? You know, you know, just a little, little uh, tip for tat type of thing, right? Go ahead. But woe unto him through whom they come. Right, man. Woe unto who, to them who they come, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to watch who you offend, man. You never know. That could be the uh, an elect in one third that's destined to make it up out of here on the interior, man. You know? You lose. Yeah, huh. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast it to the sea. Than that he should offend one of these little ones. Yeah, it would be better than that you suffer a gruesome, violent, vicious death than to uh, offend one of the Lord's little ones, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have to, have, you have to be discernful and you have to watch your tongue. You have to watch who you, you know how you deal with brothers, man, or how you deal with people on the street. So you could be offending your brother, man, an Israelite foreigner. Israel, yeah, someone that might might not look like you, but he's he's of the lineage of Israel. You know, that's just all work through. Yeah, that's what he's doing. That's why they can't understand. I just see like Lewis at the law what I love, Jesus loves you, son. Right. Straight up Lewis. No? That just pisses me off, man. It really does. No, it really does, man. I ain't even, yeah, like the brother said, man, that shit does piss me off, man, because. And that's why they don't know nothing about the Gentile. The Gentile. Even a lot of you Israelite camps out there, man. Right. We talking about Cornelius and Edomite. You guys got to be out your goddamn line. The scriptures say he received salvation, all right? And the scriptures say these other nations won't receive salvation. So you guys either got to be paid off or the Lord has chosen your strong delusion. You gotta be. I, I'm gonna just say this: stuff. if you go through the precept, a devout man is. There's a precept in Acts, the same book that tells you what a devout man is. An Israelite, man. Why? Okay. Why? Why would Peter? Why would you work? Why would Peter be worried about uh, offense? Like, talk, why would the whole thing with the meat and Peter come up? Man? If he, if that was the actual Roman 
cracker that he was talking to, or that he was dealing with. Him. Come on, man. Why would you care, man? It, oh, yeah, Peter was a zealot, too, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that went against the Roman Shout out to the zealot. You know? <laughs> you, 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 you know? We call them zealots. Zealot. Yeah, zealot. Yeah, kind of. So, knowing that, then how, how, the, how the hell can you not interpret that, that scripture speaking on Cornelius being an Israelite? It's so, it's so simple. You know? So simple. It says, and if he trespass, I'm sorry, take heed to yourself. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. Right. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day, turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive me. Right, man. You got to forgive your brother, man. You got to, you know, at the end of the day, man, brothers got to uh, watch, you know, you know, watch how they offend, offend a brother, you know what I'm saying? Rebuke him when it, when they need, need rebuking if you can get that power seven, 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 five. You know, you got to, you can rebuke him and whatnot. You know, you just got to, you know, obviously you don't spare somebody's feelings and whatnot. Who's that's going to speak on that, but you know, you can't, you know, there's certain ways to deal with a brother, you know what I'm saying? Be stern, but watch how you, watch how you come off. Oh God, like, and forgive the brother, man. Uh, Proverbs chapter 7, verse 25. Let not thine heart decline to hear, uh, what you said, 7 to 25? 20, uh, like 27 to 25. Uh, Proverbs 27, verse 5. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Right, open rebuke is better than secret love, man. So, so it, it's okay to be stern, obviously. It's okay to be stern on a brother out of love, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're, if you're not going to, if you're going to uh, withhold back, you know, the sternness or, uh, the seriousness of rebuking and correcting them, a brother, you know what I'm saying? Then you're not loving him, man. Then you want him, want him to continue on in, in his iniquities and his sin, man. That's like, you know, just like little things. Like if, if a brother is like eating something, and he, let's say he doesn't know, right, that that has, like, like he, he doesn't do with due diligence and look look at the uh, food. He's like, oh, well, this has pork and this has uh, crab, uh, crab uh, meat in it, you know? Well, you, what are you gonna do? You gonna you gonna sit up here and say, "Oh, well, I'm not gonna rebuke him because you know I love the brother. I don't I don't want to hurt his feelings." No, you don't want to do that. That's where we're you know what I'm right saying now. you gotta tell him like it is, man. That's how that's how you that's how you uh that's how you get correction. That's how you get built up, man. That's like like it says, man. Uh, what's that what's that scripture in Proverbs where it says, um, um, if you uh spare the rod, you spoil the child. Yeah, you know, right. Now you gotta scold them. No, no, you get pleasant at the time. Right. You might see hearts, you know, but it's all for the better for our people. That's why they come out here and rebuke our people. It's all out of love. Right. 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 Well, you know, that's the problem with Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? With brothers, because a lot of brothers they don't like harsh rebuking. They take things the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? And, Get their feelings hurt, man. Sometimes you gotta. Uh, sometimes you gotta. You gotta suck it up, man. <laughs> you know, and that's that's where you know uh, backbiting and, and uh, all that all, all that drama comes from. Man. All of that. Sometimes you know, brothers gotta take take it and run with it. But also, too, the one that's given the rebuke has to understand not to offend, not to say things that'll turn that that'll uh, stir a brother away. You know? I'm gonna look you guys up. Yeah, you do that, brother. You got a question? No, no, he doesn't got a question, man. He's American. He doesn't know a goddamn thing. That's right. Yeah, beat him, Mike. But um, yeah, man. You know, <laughs> you gotta you gotta watch watch who you offend. Unless it's the devil. Oh, yeah. Well, if it's one of these heathen nations, man. Oh, yeah. That, well, that one's a good thing, man. You know. 
shit, man. Was it was it Sarnetta? Sarnetta? Yeah, Sarnetta, um how, how they told that damn off was it, man? Ammonite woman off, that damn Japanese woman. That's how he's supposed to be. You gotta tell let him know, man. This ain't a goddamn game, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, you know, brothers, man, you know, our people have done let, let these damn nations them walk walk all over, especially Judah, walk all over us. And then here's the thing, they'll get mad at mad at another black man when they stand up, man, for our people. You know what I'm saying? You gotta tell these nations, man, that the, you gotta tell these nations like it is, man. The Arab man, the white man, the uh the uh Elamite man, Chinese. And Japanese man, they're all going into slavery, man, and they ain't shit according to the Bible. You gotta tell them like, tell them like it is, man. They gotta respect the house of the, of the Most High, man, and its prophets, because we're speaking the word of the prophet of the Most High, man. You know, Zechariah one and fifteen, huh. and I am very sore displeased with the heathen that right. I had eat, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. Yeah, man, these heathens helped afford. For the affliction of the uh, Israelites, man. Look down upon the so-called black and Hispanic man. You know, thinking that we're nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're the greatest thing on the planet Earth, but they'll, they'll tell us that we're niggas and spick, man. Have niggas and spick jokes all throughout the goddamn um, America, man. And these, ne these Negroes like that shit, man. You know, it, but the Most High is angry with that, man. He, he, don't, he don't like what these nations are doing, man. We have to be like the Most High, man. We got to be bold and stand up against these damn Turkwoods and these damn uh, Moabites, man. These That's damn right. damn uh, slant eyed bastards. Man. That's right. You know, damn coin. You know, damn hey, hey. example right there. <laughs> example right there, man. Fucking Esau and the damn Moabite Ammonite, whatever. I want this thing right here with his hands down, damn bottom. Yeah, our people that destroyed, man. Yeah. Okay, so who win? Huh? Or, um, uh, Lefty? Nah, I mean, Lefty. Uh, that's it, man. I was thinking about shit. Let's do, uh. Briefly going down. Psalm chapter 58, verse 2. Yeah, in heart you work wickedness. You weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Right, man. Speaking of these, speaking of the so-called white man, primarily, he lay, lay his, his hand upon the earth, dropping bombs and nuking people off the goddamn map because they don't want to be like the damn Pecklewood. You know what I'm saying? He's a he's a complete terrorist, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But they'll call the arrows terrorists. No, they'll call us terrorists. How, yeah. But how the hell can we can terror? We don't, the only thing we can terrorize people with is with, is with the Bible. With the words of the Heavenly Father, man. That's our weapon of war. So-called white man's weapon is carnal, man. You know what I'm saying? All the damn weapons he got, man. All the F-22s, the F-15s, and the F-35s, and the Blackbird, and the stealth bombers, and the damn Predator drones. All the damn and unmanned tanks. We don't got no goddamn weapons, you know? But, that, but we know that that verse is speaking of this damn devil. Because that's all he does, man. That's all his him and his woman does, man. The whole, children chapter, too. the whole chapter is about this so-called white man. Right. You know? Who our people love to go whoring at. Right. Our people love to lust at. Right, huh? And the other nations love to be like him, too. Right. And there's nothing good about him. There's nothing dope. There's nothing dope about the white man. There's no swag about him. No. Right? Oh, he's a swagger jack. A swagger jacket is still all of our shit. A swagger jacket. You know, they're walking on stolen ground right now. They got to pay for it. Right. They got to pay for what their fathers did. And they're so happy living it up in America right now. Right? Oh, yeah. But there's going to be a time where these white people ain't going to be smiling no more. These niggas is going to start taking off on your ass, left and right. Oh, yeah. Get that in, uh, what's it, Jeremiah? I think it might be Isaiah, the 32nd chapter. 32nd and 2. Yeah, Isaiah 30, 32 and uh, starting at verse 3. Isaiah chapter 32 and 3. In the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall hearken. Huh. 
The heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge. Right. And the tongue of the stammerer shall be ready to speak plainly. Right, man. That's, you know, that's, that's us right now, you know what I'm saying? We're speaking about the, about the most high, man. We're condemning this damn society right now. Go ahead. You see you want to warn it? Yeah. It says the vile person shall be no more called liberal. Right, man. The vile person, who is the so-called white man, woman, and child, shall no longer be called liberal, man. What is what is being liberal? So unnoble, man. You know what I'm saying? All these other nations, man, out here, man, consider, yo, know, even our people too, consider this damn Peckerwood as a uh, noble person. A so someone esteemed, highly esteemed, man. What we're preaching right now is the destruction of the damn white man. And that he's a vile, wicked, perverse, demonic, homosexual devil, killer, raper, and pedophile. Everything under the sun that is vile. That's him, man. Right? That's right. Robber, too. Gun. And a faggot. Liar. The weakling. Right. That's all they are. All they are. If our people want to follow after him, then guess what? You're everything that he is. Yeah. All right? Gun. You Negroes that want to be like these white people, you guys are punching this paper, traitor. Yeah, and I want to be just like the white man. Right. And I want to be like your oppressor. Right. The scripture's talking about envy, not your oppressor. What's the envy? But here's the thing though. What's the envy of this so-called peckerwood, man? So-called white man, man. You want to be vile, vile just like the damn devil, the damn white man? That's a question to you damn jakes, man. Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. Especially you women who want this blonde hair, not knowing that that leprosy of the scalp. Yeah, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a deterioration you know, in, the, in, the, in the genes. You know? Deterioration in the genes that have that damn leprous piece of crap uh, scalp that these people would have. You know? and, and, you, and you damn black, black, Hispanic, Native American women want to get, uh, halfway just color your hair blonde. What the hell is wrong with you? You know, trying to be like these damn Edomite white whores, you know? They're all whores. All of them. The last one of them. They're not good people, man. If Yahawashah said not to call him good, right. why would you be able to sit here and say some white people are good? That just don't make no sense. They have a track record. Man. They got a long track record of killing and brutally raping our our men, women, and children. Man. For the vile person will speak villainly, and his heart will work iniquity. Right, man. That that's what these damn devils do all every day, man. The vile person worketh iniquity, man. Speaketh iniquity. Keep going. To practice hypocrisy. That's, hey man, the white man, that's that's another of characteristics of the damn devil. Call everyone else terrorists, call the Arab man terrorists, call the, you know, call the you know, brothers on the street corner terrorists and, and oh, they're just like the black KKK. How they how the hell we KKK when the KKK lynched black Latino Native Americans? When's the last time a Hebrew Israelite lynched anybody, man? Lynched a pepperwood. Can't tell me that, man. Hypocrites, man. That's what the nation of Edom is. And the so-called white race are a nation of hypocrites and cowards, man. Yeah. 